me because she's star and today we are playing another ever after high quiz um i was getting comments from sunny stella or little lily off of youtube and she was asking me to do more of these quizzes because she really enjoyed them so sunny stella this is for you um today we are playing who's the most charming roommate for you um i was looking through the quizzes on the site and it looks like I played a lot of them so this is like I think it was this one and then one other one that I haven't done yet so we're running out of quizzes that makes me kind of sad but it will be okay <laughs> who's the most charming roommate for you uh once you've enrolled ever after high moving into the EAH dorms is the next page of your story which fairy tale is your roommate mark match which fairy tale is your roommate match Take this charming quiz to find the wicked awesome roommate who is just right up for you. <clears throat> How would you describe your decorating style? <laughs> who knows? There's like colors and patterns of like goth and a modern all mixed into one. Who knows what my style is? Whimsical and filled with color, artsy and ever-changing, floor and fashionable, uh, romantically dreamy. I would say artsy and ever-changing. <laughs> yeah, hello. Uh, <laughs> If you guys watch me decorating my house as a doll, you would know that. What time do you like to go to sleep? Definitely before midnight. Whenever I'm tired, I'm usually swaying logs pretty early. Sawing logs pretty early, sorry. <laughs> I'm a bit of a night owl, but I do like my sleep. I need time to dream. Uh, whenever I'm tired or a night owl, let's go with night owl. Because I always go to bed around like midnight. When getting a ferret... <laughs> Ferris for school in the morning, you, your, blah, 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 blah. When getting Ferris for school in the morning, your roommate helps you put together a school binding outfit, tells you if your look is less than magical, encourages you to have a school binding day, quizzes you for tests, shares funny stories, and helps get your, get you, helps get your day started on the right page. There we go. Right. Ugh. I don't know. Like, I would love someone to be like, hi, have a great day. Um, but then I would love someone who could actually help me, but I don't know if that would get annoying. Because uh, I, I did live in a, dorm in a dor dormitory style thing for a while, and I had five, four, four, five. I don't remember. I think yeah, I had five roommates at one point, and then I had four roommates at the others. And then, anywho, I didn't really talk to anyone in the morning. <laughs> is what I'm trying to get at. I didn't talk to anyone because I just like, I'm a slow, I, it takes me a while to wake up in the morning. So I just like get up and uh, get dressed, shower and eat breakfast and I'm just quiet and like zoned out to the day. It takes a while for my brain to wake up. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know if I would like someone to be like, hi, hello, blah, 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 Mer. So, <laughs> I don't know. Having a cheerful person around would be good. So let's go with that one. <laughs> After a totally wicked week of tests, you want to host a page of a to spell over it. Your roommate volunteers to make the spell binding decorations. Helps with the planning. She's full of wonder and loves to plan parties. Is organizing the food and drinks with lots of vegan selections. Is hocus focused on putting together a magical guest list. Um, I want someone who would help me. Next. What page turn activity is your fave way to relax? Drawing or painting something magical, talking about wicked awesome boys and who's dating whom, planning a terrific party, shopping for spellbinding new fashions, drawing and painting something magical. Yes. Your roommate left the dorm room a big bad mess. What do you do? Put her stuff away. I don't mind certain things up. Whatever after. I, it doesn't bother me. Ask her to clean up her very big mess. Chat with her to make sure everything is okay. Um, I'm just stirring things up. I've lived in a roommate before too, like in our, in a, an apartment. We shared an apartment, and I had to do that a couple times too. Because I don't like things like all over the place. It's like one thing to have your own private room a mess, but if you're having like living and shared living spaces, like the kitchen or the family room or the living room or like the hallway, it's one thing to like have those places cluttered with your things. So yeah, uh, which extra collect <laughs> extra curricular activity sounds most exciting to you? Throne coming planning committee, 
Art Appreciation Club, Marinette Broadcast Club, The Enchanted Forest Club. Hmm. I would love to do the Art Appreciation Club. I think I would love the the Marinette. I think that sounds a lot of fun. At one point, I did want to be a, um... Brain totally died. What is that word? <laughs> no, can't think of the word. Uh, can't. Nope, can't do it. Brain not focusing. Um, I do want to be a journalist. I don't know if I ever told you guys that. Moving on. Which spell biting word best describes you? Caring, helpful, artistic, fun. Um, best describes you. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Artistic? Let's go with artistic. How often do you straighten up your dorm room? <laughs> Every day. I like you clean and tidy. Sometimes it may look messy, but knock on wood, I know where everything is. Happily never after, there's something wondrous about a little chaos. Very often, to stay hocus pocus, I like everything to have its place. Yes. Actually, funny story. Like I was saying, I lived in this dorm with like four or five other girls, depending on what time it was. Um, and or core advisor, the person who was like over us, it wasn't like the dorm advisor, but it was like the person who like always checked in on us and made sure we were okay. Um, she knew she could always count on me to like always have like my bed, my bunk clean and like my cubby clean and like have all my stuff put away. And so one time, like I just had all of my stuff like cluttered in front of my in front of my cubby. And so like I had all my drawers open, all my clothes were on the floor, and then it was just I had like this huge pile in front of my in front of my cubby. And so I was just laying on my bed because I had the bottom bunk. And so I'm just laying on my bed. And she walks in and she looks at my cubby, and then she looks at me, and then she looks at my cubby, and she sat on the floor. And she's like, so what's going on? Like, what's wrong? Because she knew something was up. Because I just didn't care. Like, I didn't care that my stuff was, like, all over the world. And so that's when she, she's like, okay, something's wrong. Because your, your cubby's never like this. And so it was really funny. Random story. Um, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Pick the spellbinding trait that you'd wish for in a roommate. Someone honest. Someone careful carefree and fun, someone who cares about the environment, someone who wants to listen, hmm. someone honest, I think that would be great, and the result is, oh, Cedar Wood, that'd be awesome, I actually thought there for a while I was going to get Maddie, because I was kept answering all the Maddie questions, but no, oh, Cedar Wood, your roommate match is Cedar Wood, a sweet, artsy, and innocent. Cedar Wood is always going to tell you what she really thinks because she can't tell a lie. In her quest to be a real girl, this friendly roomie is always open to trying new things and enjoying the ever after high world. Just remember, your roommate can't keep a keep, keep. <laughs> Just remember, your roommate can't keep a secret, so no late night confessions unless you want the whole school to know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright guys, well I got cedar wood. Um I hope you guys enjoyed this uh little random quiz and all my ra little random stories that I shared with my experience of living in a dorm. Um <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love it if you guys would go to everafterhigh.com and take this quiz for yourself and tell me the results you got in the comments down below. And a lot of you guys actually do do that. And I love uh, getting your results and like learning what you guys get because it's just really cool to like learn some, some things from another person. I don't know. Like I find that really interesting. Like you take a quiz and you just like from the result that that person gets, like you just you learn so much more about them. So yeah. Uh, please take the quiz if you really like it, and please tell me what your results were in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any ideas of something else that I should play for my Flash Bite series, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I hope you are having a grand, glorious day. Bye!